So the inevitable pandemic in our lifetime that most of the world, including the whole of Europe and North America, were totally unprepared for, that had moronic government scientists spouting in the early months that the general public should not wear masks, which was due to the lack of PPE stock, whilst Prime Ministers and Presidents laughed it off as something that would magically disappear before Easter, instead has had a severe economic and social impact that still continues to this day. Coffee. Okay. I do apologise, I'm going to interrupt you because um, I need to talk now. We'll come back to you in a moment, but we need to go over straight over to our political editor, uh, Laura Koonsberg. Laura, what have you got to tell us? Good morning, Carrie. Well, I've just um, discovered that the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has tested positive for coronavirus. He's understood to have mild symptoms. Um, he will self-isolate in number 10 and will still be in charge of the government's approach to how they're handling the crisis. But obviously, this is a significant moment. Um, Boris Johnson, of course, has been in close contact with um, oh. the government's chief scientists and all the people who are in charge of trying to handle how the government's various responses are going. But he is now himself having displayed mild symptoms, understood to have tested positive for the infection. Hi folks, quick update from me on the uh, campaign against coronavirus. First of all, in my own case, uh, although I'm feeling better and I've done my, my seven days of isolation, alas, I still have uh, one of the symptoms, a minor symptom of, I, have a, I still have a temperature and so in accordance with government advice, I must continue uh, my self-isolation until uh, that symptom itself goes. But we're working clearly the whole time on our programme to defeat the virus, you'll have seen. Shortly before he was admitted to intensive care last night. On all of our lives. However, given the fast materialisation of vaccines should soon start to diminish into the history books. So what else is lurking out there in the mists of time about to have an equal, if not greater, impact on our everyday lives? Asteroid impact? Inevitable, yes, for instance, Apophis, named after the Egyptian snake god of chaos, is due for a very close rendezvous with Earth in April 2029, which is one of thousands that cross Earth's orbit, but the range of probability spans decades to tens of thousands of years, so not something that can be assumed to be definitely imminent in terms of catastrophic impact. So what is next? The most probable catastrophic event that we are largely unprepared for. Well, what comes to mind are coronal mass ejections or CMEs, which may not do human and other life much harm directly, but could bring an end to our electronic civilization within a matter of hours of a direct hit by a major CME that flies our satellites, no more GPS, transformers, wipes data such as bank records, kills general electronics on smartphones, to sending planes dropping from the skies onto the buildings below, and not even the cryptomaniacs will be immune as their hard wallets are wiped clean. So how probable is such an SME event? Very probable, as the sun is coming out of its solar activity cycle or as measured by sunspot activity. Likely imminent, just as warnings of a pandemic spanning the past 10 years set the scene for an imminent pandemic to plan for that few governments actually did. The earth being hit by a massive solar storm within the next 10 years is very probable, which I rate as at least 80% probability. One only needs to look at the sunspot activity to see that the sun has been relatively quiet for the past 20 years, just at a time when smartphone technologies have been taking off globally, with many hundreds of satellites going up during the solar quiet time period, virtually none of which would survive being hit by a CME. Probably the riskiest period for solar flare activity is for between 2025 and 2028, which so happens to coincide with my big picture stock market trend analysis as of June 2020. 
the sun's quiet period is coming to an end and we are going to see spikes in solar activity that could see a solar mass ejection coming Earth's way. The greater the solar activity then the higher the probability of Earth being hit by a solar storm and it is going to happen. The Earth will be hit by charged particle storms from the sun. The only question mark is the magnitude and will we get a direct hit or just glancing blows? where a glancing blow would still cause some damage and outages whilst the direct hit would send us immediately back to the pre-electricity age for anywhere from a few days to likely, more likely several months depending on what electronics fail such as transformers for which there is little backup stock around the world perhaps all enough to get a few cities up and running whilst most of the rest of each nations remained in blackout for could be up to years in fact. We have seen what a few hours without electricity can do to some inner city populations, sending them rioting and looting. What will happen if the outages extend for several months if not years in a world without any communications, no internet, no TV, and likely no radio due to ionization of the atmosphere a complete communications blackout with perhaps the police patrolling on horseback with loudspeakers to order populations to behave and remain indoors or else martial law rules information silence and food shortages within days as every non-essential person is forced to stay at home with the army of soon patrolling the streets whilst the government organises emergency food rations to prevent starvation. So the earth being hit head on by a coronal mass ejection will be catastrophic with the impact likely many times that of the pandemic we have just experienced perhaps the world not getting back to normal for several years. And when did the Earth last take a hit? The Earth was hit by just a glancing blow in March 1989 that knocked out power across large sections of Quebec. That's in Canada if you don't know. And last on the 23rd of July 2012, the Earth had a near miss with a massive solar superstorm that would have knocked the Earth in technological terms back to the 18th century. This should have acted as a wake-up call for governments, but apparently not. Maybe the more far-sighted tech giants such as Google have contingencies in place to protect their data, but more small and medium-sized corporations are blind to what's just around the corner. So how to protect your tech from a solar storm? Whilst we have no control over our protection of satellites, power stations, transformers and other electronic infrastructure. However, we could all look into how to protect our personal electronic devices from a CME storm that would risk wiping them clean of all data and likely worse make them in inoperable. The easiest first defence is to have them unplugged from the mains. After all, they could be as much as 30 minutes advance warning of an SME heading our way that's if we're awake if it's during the daytime so maybe leave well that's when it's going to feel the full force head on facing the sun so maybe leave valuable tech switched off and unplugged at night will be a good starting point next will be to have or make a Faraday cage from metal mesh you all already have one of sorts in your homes, that's your microwave, which could save data such as hard drives and USB disks and uh, crypto wallets, hard wallets, and your smartphone during an SME just as a lo long as they are unplugged. So don't throw your old microwave ovens away, keep them in the garage with an external hard drives kept inside them. Ensure you have a stash of cash because there won't be any electronic banking for a while after a CMA attack or hit.
What about a small petrol generator? Quick look on Amazon shows small generator starting around £230 for 6,500 watts, rising to £530 for a 7,500 watt generator. And of course, you're going to need some fuel storage. And what about some walking boots? Because you'll want to keep that fuel in the tank if it's petrol to power the generator. And don't forget, no traffic lights for a while. So get yourself some pedal power bikes, good boots, and some tin food because it's coming. A CME event is going to happen. The only question mark is the magnitude. And where my best guess is sometime between 2025 and 2028.